Hariyam children, today we will read a new chapter, Ecosystem. First we should know what is an ecosystem. Ecosystem is a collection of all organisms that live in a particular place together with their living and non-living environment. So when you are talking about living and non-living environment, we say living environment are biotic factor, all the living beings like human, animals, plants and non-living beings are normally all the non-living substance present around us that help us to survive like air, water, soil etc. We will see this flow chart which shows component of ecosystem. Right? So we will see here, see ecosystem which is divided into two parts abiotic component and biotic component. Biotic components are the living component. They are of three categories. Producers, consumer and decomposer. Producers are normally the green plants which otherwise known as autotrophs. Why? Because they could able to prepare their own food. And second we are going to consumers. Those living beings depend on the producer are also known as heterotrophs. Then we are coming to decomposer which helps this producer and consumer to decompose. Right? So they are also known as saprophytes or saprotrophic nutrition substance such as your uh, you say the mushrooms which grow on the saprophyte. Right? So these all fungi, the group of fungi are under the category of decomposer. Okay? Producers are only single because they have the capacity to produce their own substance, right? But whereas consumer depend on producer, so they are of four category: primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, and quaternary consumer. We will go to the abiotic factor. They are two type: one is climatic factor and adaptive factor. Climatic factor are normally rain light, wind or you can say the uh, temperature in light, sunlight, all right and ever adaptive factor are all environmental factor such as your soil, the pH value of soil as well as rainwater, mineral content of that area and topography of that area. You will see how this all component is associated in an ecosystem right. We are seeing the producers, those are uh, trapping the solar energy and produce the food and release it energy. It is taken by the consumers and the consumer takes certain part of the energy and utilize in their life to exist. They also release few energy and after that when they die the decomposer helps them to decompose such as your bacteria and fungi or fungus they helps to decompose. And after decomposition, the heat energy again return back to the environment. And again it mixes to the abiotic factor, right? All the gases present there, soil factor, uh, water factor, whatever it is there, it is returned back to the environment. That means the energy released from the producer, again it is returned back to environment and finally again it is taken by the producers. We will see the consumers, these are the normal category, general category of consumer, herbivores, all the plant eaters, right, carnivores, those depend on the other animal like the lion tiger, omnivores such as you and me, they are the plants and animal both category like wolf and bear, right, wolf is generally carnivores and detrivores, those that depend on the dead matters, they eat dead matters and decomposer which are saprophytic in nature, that they break down the organic matter, right. So these all are your fungi, arthrum, these are the uh, decomposers. You will see that how this uh, producers and consumers which we have been learned, uh, primary consumer, secondary consumer and tertiary consumer are related to each other. So they are related to each other in the form of a food chain, right? So we must know what is meant by food chain. So food chain, which is very important part of ecosystem, you will see that the food chain is a sequence of organism in which each organism eat the lower number of organism and it itself 
attained by the next higher organism right you see this is the producers every living organism begin with producer that means a chain food chain begin with producer it's a important thing why the food chain starts or begin with producer because the producers are autotrophs in nature and they can utilize the solar energy in 100% so the chain start with producer this producers is taken care by all the consumers so this is a primary consumer you see a grasshopper eaten the producer grasshopper as a primary consumer eaten by the secondary consumer as a frog and it is again eaten by a tertiary consumer snake and finally the tertiary consumer it is also a tertiary consumer hawk okay and all this animal grasshopper frog snake hawk everybody decomposes die and decompose by the decomposers say the fungus right so they help bacteria and fungus they help to decompose so where it decompose in the soil and again that is utilized by the producers right so eaten and being eaten right it is the first uh, foremost motto is that of food chain eaten and by eaten means it's a sequence one organism eaten by the higher organism then to the next higher organism and maintain the food chain this food chain when it is interconnected to each other right the pattern of several interconnecting food chain are called as food wave right here you will find the consumers are present tertiary consumer we are getting here the tertiary consumer secondary primary and find this is the beginning your producers right so the producer you say these are the uh, primary consumers your snail fish these are the primary consumer this mouse or rat you can say frog or big fishes secondary consumer where the snake and all these birds they are the tertiary consumer and it is also the hawk eagle also considered as a tertiary consumer so they are interconnected to each other each and every part is connected to each other means if a animal could not able to get one animal they can depend on the other animal to survive for the survival it is very much necessary that every food chain is connected to each other and forming a food wave so that each and every animal could able to survive in the environment so to know exactly how this environment exists it is represented in the form of a pyramid right so the pyramid is a representation of the entire environment in a pyramidal structure see the last level of the pyramid which is the uh, base level we will find the producer because producer which are capable to trap the solar energy and it is could able to prepare their own food depend on this producers herbivores or the primary consumer then your carnivores and omnivores both are secondary consumer and finally the tertiary consumer and all when they die they decompose right and which is again return back to the environment in the form of the fertilizers right and taken by the plants so you see this is the pyramid which is very important how the pyramid of energy is maintained and what is the rate of the decreasing of the energy we will see that in this part we are seeing that one tropic level feed the other tropic level in the ecosystem and this diagram so how energy transfer from one tropic level to another tropic level so when you will talk about the tropic level these are the energy level producer is the tropic level 1 whereas the primary consumer tropic level 2 secondary consumer tropic level 3 and tertiary consumer tropic level 4 right and what happened here the energy transport here it is given an example of 10000 kilocalorie of energy is produced by the producer which when it is taken by the primary consumer 10% of energy is conserved here right and it is only 1000 kilocalorie is taken by the primary consumer again 10% is conserved taken only 100 kilocalorie by secondary consumer again 10% conserved and finally the 10 kilocalorie is taken by the tertiary consumer so it is also known as a 10% law of nature right so nature also have a 10% percent that's what children we do in our uh, day to day life also we read our 
uh, course and syllabus and we conserve something we memorize right so that is the law we memorize we store it and which utilize in the next part right so this is what we learn from the nature how the energy can be sun taken from the solar energy and how it is transferred from every level to maintain the balance in the system we will see how it is number is also present it's an upright pyramid and sometimes that a pyramid of number also can be inverted right so geographically it is graphically represent that the number of organism in the tropic level it can be upright it can be inverted prior to the type of the ecosystem right so you see producer the producers are should be always in a larger amount right then the primary consumer and secondary consumer right if at all more jungle are there then the less primary consumer could able to survive and each and everybody could able to get the plant to eat food to it rather right and if primary consumers are more then secondary consumer can able to survive right so that means as a whole primary consumer should be lesser than the secondary consumer and secondary consumer should be more lesser than the tertiary consumer and the highest more amount should be produced so the number as you go up it is you see more number than less than less and less and if you invert it it is the lowest part then it is the highest part anyway the producer always occupy the highest number we will see that how ecosystem is really benefited to us we learn how it is maintained in the environment how it is benefited to us you see ecosystem service is benefited to people in many ways like climatic regulation flood regulation disease regulation water purification and waste assimilation along with this it also help in cultural service like aesthetic spiritual educational recreational and social relations but what happened human growth the day by day increase in population it's a threat given a threat to the ecosystem so the population increase help us to consume sun of more ecosystem growth is uh, needed more growth so it's a threat of our population right infrastructure we are growing modernize ourselves by dams urban growth highway so many things right industrialization urbanization so it also hamper the ecosystem and disbalance the environment for which the people the uh, you know this uh, total world is suffer today also we are suffering due to that only then land conservation over to exploitation you see we started doing deforestation because we need more land mass for our population to accommodate in the earth surface right we need uh, some places for agriculture but today if i'll say agriculture mass is laser because of our population rate and where we are constantly more industries right and over the exploitation over fishing over grazing so these are the different type of exploitation occur release of the pollutant due to the human or uh, style of living agriculture industrial waste etc and some exotic species which we are uh, it is extinct species and also replacing the indigenous species if at all we could able to do then we could able to uh, save the ecosystem because once we could able to save the ecosystem then perhaps we can uh, save ourselves from pollution and all type of environmental hazards say greenhouse effect global warming pollution and so and so as as the so many pandemic condition is going on no? we could able to overcome because of ecosystem so starts conserving the environment plant more trees save the environment because it is the only way to survive safely pure environment disease free environment and mental peace environment right children so thank you